First up, days after effects of cyclone Michong receded, Chennai continues to reel under its aftermath. It is an oily devastation that we are talking about. An extensive oil spill spanning 20 square kilometers. The repercussions are both alarming and disheartening. The oil spill in Chennai that originated from the refinery of Chennai Petroleum Corporation Limited has spread at least 20 square kilometers into the sea, causing massive repercussions. NGT overseeing the matter expressed dissatisfaction with the efforts of Chennai Petroleum Corporation Limited in addressing the oil spill. The NGT has questioned the insufficient deployment of oil suckers and skimmers, prompting a warning of stringent action if mitigation efforts are further delayed. After the tribunal prompted a warning of stringent action, CPCL has pledged to remove 95% of the oil spill by Sunday. Tamil Nadu Pollution Control Board identified inadequate stormwater management at CPCL, which led to overflowing of oil mixed water amid last week's floods triggered by Cyclone Mitchell. Dharani is joining us live. Dharani, extensive oil spill in Chennai's Ennore. Of course, NGT has pulled up Chennai Petroleum Corporation as well uh, for its failure in controlling this. And now take us through the current situation at this point and what are the steps that are being taken or that will be taken by, uh, you know, Chennai Petroleum Corporation to remove this uh, uh, spill soon? In Ennur area of Chennai, in fact, I'm standing inside a boat now where uh, the oil spillage mitigation works are currently underway. Uh, the government has informed the National Green Tribunal that at least 75 boats and 300 personnel have been deployed uh, to ramp up uh, the oil spillage mitigation works, you know, uh, uh, as much as possible. Uh, I'm standing in Ennur here. You can see in the waters, you can see uh, the oil that, uh, that has got mixed with the waters. Uh, you know, it looks very evident, you know, from this location where I'm standing right now. Uh, you know, you can see the oil... Uh, oil floating, you know, on top of the waters here in, uh, you know, this location. Uh, so, uh, at least 75 uh, boats are being operated continuously by the uh, pollution control boat uh, to suck the, uh, you know, oil that got mixed uh, with the waters over here. Uh, so, apart from the boats, uh, other missionaries such as oil boomers, skimmers and gully suckers, they are also being continuously deployed by the government uh, to, uh, you know, suck the uh, oil out of the waters as soon as possible. Uh, so, the, the oil that is, you know, uh, being taken out of the waters, they are, uh, you know, uh, brought to the ground here in in, in blue colored you know a uh, tin cans you know in fact uh, i know in the visuals you can you know see a tin can over here uh, this is what is being carried by uh, you know uh, uh, the uh, the fishing community and also the teams that are deployed so they are carrying these uh, tin cans inside the waters and uh, they are using several missionaries to suck the water out of the uh, you know uh, to suck the oil out of the waters and the, and the oil that's taken out that's being uh, brought back to the ground in these you know tin cans i uh, you know uh, in, you can see inside the waters here and as much as I can see in this location, as far as, as, far as I can see, you know, all the distance I can see uh, oil completely, you know, mixed with the waters over here and the fishing community, they are telling that uh, they have lost their entire livelihood for the past, you know, one week because uh, because of this oil spillage, uh, the, the fish, uh, you know, thousands of fish in this locality, they are completely dead and uh, even, uh, you know, even if uh, the fishing community is able to catch, you know, uh, some fish out of the waters, uh, the public are not ready to buy it because of the oil smell that is originating out of it. So definitely uh, the situation needs to be restored as much as, you know, as soon as possible and uh, the Tamil Nadu government and uh, the uh, Chennai Petroleum Corporation Limited, they have assured uh, the National Green Tribunal that within uh, coming Sunday, uh, they will be uh, sucking at least 90 to 95 percentage of the oil that got mixed with the waters. So uh, the mitigation works are, are, are on full swing. The government is increasing the number of, you know, uh, missionaries uh, uh, as, you know, hours pass by and, you know, 24 bar 7, the work is underway 24 bar 7 for the past four days, uh, the officials say that, uh, you know, they have not gone to their houses and they are continuously, uh, you know, undertaking the mitigation works 24 uh, bar 7 and the number of, uh, the count of uh, the gully suckers, boomers and skimmers uh, that are, you know, uh, used to suck the water out of, uh, uh, the, uh, suck the oil out of the waters, the, the, the count of them are continuously being increased by the government. So definitely, uh, th this is an alarming situation and, you know, uh, apart from the environmental uh, damages that this oil has caused uh, to the Ennur Creek and the Ennur Shore, uh, the the livelihood of the fishing community is also uh, completely under question because for the past one week they have not made a, you know a, even a 
single penny out of these waters because the fish are all dead and even if they take the fish and you know uh, take it uh, and, <coughs> and go to the market the public are not ready to buy the fish because of the oil leakage uh, so uh, they are requesting the government to provide them with some kind of a compensation money the government has not announced any compensation so far for the uh, fishing community uh, that is suffering uh, you know due to this oil i uh, know spillage but meanwhile on the other hand uh, the mitigation works are also come uh, you know uh, continuously underway uh, three departments from you know tamil nadu that is uh, uh, the forest department the environment ministry and also the uh, pollution control board uh, these three departments uh, they are you know all together monitoring uh, these mitigation works officials from these departments they are uh, standing in the shore over there and they are uh, keeping you know a continuous track of uh, uh, the mitigation works that are you know currently underway uh, so uh, in at least in the next couple of days within uh, coming sunday we can expect 90 percentage of the damages uh, you know to be uh, you know uh, to be <coughs> undone and you know uh, the government is only pushing it uh, uh, you know uh, to uh, fast and as much as possible all right adharani alarming situation certainly adharani they're showing us the mitigation work being carried out by officials in enor area in fact cpcl as adharani had been pointing out assuring that oil spill will be removed by sunday so we'll have to wait and watch if uh, that uh, does uh, happen but at this point of course the situation definitely concerning thank you darni for bringing all those uh, ground details from ennor